Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is your lady, and today I want to share with you all my little project for Renee Bookcase show. Uh, for today, I did a loaded envelope box, and it was super easy to do. And I will uh, show you everything that I did for this project. Just to you know, to take a break a little bit from the pink, I used the blue ones from the C the Cella Teal from Prima, and that paper pad I got it from Renee Bookcase a while back, but. Renee carries a lot of Prima products just in case you want to check it out you know she has different collections there so yes so I use that one here so you can see it has it's very loaded I use I, I use the one inch on deep in the box so I have no space to load it up so first let me go ahead and show you what I did uh, for the inside so then I can see the I can show you the empty box. So here first is a three by three card, you know, that we always uh, had to make a card. And so here I use this frame that was given to me. I do not remember who, but it was in my stash. So I use it here and I use one of those Prima doll stamps and I don't want it to color her. So what I did, I just stamp it on the papers and lay there there. And then I use flowers from the collection. These flowers was also from a Rene Bouquet shop. And I use uh, laces from Rene. I use uh, the tiniest lace in the bottom, uh, here in the back. And then I use the black one just to pop a little bit of those colors. They has the blacks and blues and all that stuff. So I use the, the black one here. And then this I cut out this from the collection. And you know some paper from the collection that I just rip it and you know just to make it you know all interesting. <laughs> In the inside is just clean and I just put a layer of paper here just to no, because the top is a little bit heavy so I put another layer here just to equalate equally no I don't I don't know what that word is but you know so it will <laughs> graduate the, the 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 heaviness of the top. So yeah, so this is uh, the car. Then I made uh, uh, this boss and I just print the pattern from the computer um, and then uh, I put it together. I use a uh, lace, eyelash trimpers and the flowers from the collection. Again, I use the paper collection here and I just distress the edges. The packaging is very simple. I just use the paper and that's it. So that's what I did. The next one, I showed you a way that you can use also Renee Bouquet's flowers. These are flowers are from Renee Bouquet. Uh, she carries different types of flowers, the applique flowers. She has the, the fabric flowers like this one and any other different style. And she has the mulberry flowers as well. So I recommend for you to check it out so you can see all the choices that you have on flowers. So yeah, so this is what I did. And then here I just used a, um, a chipboard piece. It's a heart shape also from Renee Bouquet's shop and this is just a tag from my stash. Then here is an option that you can do with laces from Renee Bouquet's shop. Uh, here I use the Venice lace and I just put this piece of the black one and it's so so beautiful. All the names will be in the description box below because I tend to forget the names. So yes, so this is one of the black ones and I just love it, love it, love it. I wanted to showcase this. Uh, this is just want petal or the, fla or the lace and I just wanted to show you how gorgeous it looks. Look at that. I love it. So yes, I just wanted to showcase that. And here I just rip paper on the on top of black cardstock just to decorate it and that's it. Then here is a tag. Um, what it is, the I this is a wooden tag from Renee's shop. This is one of the beautiful boards, uh, uh, cheaper pieces, and it came with the base that is this. And in the back, I don't do anything because I wanted to show you. Uh, this is the base. Um, you know the Renee Bouquet's um, cheaper pieces, they are in this off-white color that is perfect for you to, you know, to use it as it is, or you can color it, you can use any mismatch media with it. So yes, yeah, so here in the back, I just let it as it was. And then in the front, it comes with these decoration pieces. And what it is, the I emboss them on black. And it comes also with this butterfly here. And it also comes in like a pink color as well. And um, so I use the blue ones to match my, my whole project. And these pieces as well came with a tag. And these are a uh, chipboard piece as well. So what I did, the, I tore those four pieces and embossed them in black. And then 
I put a piece of paper in the top of this. As you can see here, I distress it. And, and then I use my templates um, and did this uh, Miss Media thing here with um, paste. And then I put laces from the shop and flower cheese cloth. And this is from the paper collection as well. And I use this flower. I use another of those Prima Doors stamps. So yeah, so it's very beautiful tag and it's a very thick um, in size as well. I think it's five something, it's four by five. Yes, it's four by five, a little bit bigger. So yeah, so it's very, very cool. And it's a very sturdy tag. Then I made a, a this egg wand and rosette one. And with this, I use my tool to make a bow and then I use one of the um, uh, butterfly kisses here. And I just use my stickers to uh, stickle the edges. And then more of the flowers from the collection, uh, paper from the collection. This is a cookie grabber. And here is one of those uh, black laces from the shop. And in the back is another of those laces that I use that is was displaying here in the in the lace is this same lace i wanted to showcase the lace because it's so 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 beautiful look at that so yeah so this is how i did the the rosette and then i use uh, my cricut i use my cricut to print this out and this template i got it from anna who is lace boutique one and so yeah so what it is that i pass the the design to the cricut and then I just cut it from there using the, the, the same paper. And then I just start layering. And here is a little bit of the lace from the shop. I, I made like a tassel with the tool and one of the flowers from the collection. And all of them are just the same with the same lace. I, I took uh, like pieces from the lace lay over and I put it there to decorate it so everything will combine together. So that's what I did. And then here is the box and it's all empty so you can see all the space that you have to load it up, you see. And um, what I used was a ten and a half by ten and a half piece of paper. Um, then I started scoring. Let me, okay, I cannot find the paper with the, <laughs> with the measurements, but I will let it, I put it in the captions and I will also leave it on the description box below. Just in case you want to make it because I think it's very fun to do and it has so much depth to load it up. So yeah, so in the top of the box, I did um, layering or laces. As you can see here, I, I use this one. You can see here, so, so beautiful. And it's very uh, thick uh, he, over here in the embroidery. So it, it's, it's very nice, it's very, very nice. So what I did, I put it here in the bottom, and then I use my, the soft mint uh, uh, tool trim, in the, and put it in the top. This is also from Renee Booker's shop. She has in pink, and she has this one here, and also I believe she has the white one. So yes, yeah, so I put this one in the center of that, or the white one, and then I start layering in a piece of paper so it will match, you know, I like to layer. Then I use uh, the flourish uh, chipboard pieces from Renee's shop, and I also use a feather, and these are all chipboard pieces from Renee Bouquet's shop. I let it as it was, I don't do anything to it, uh, so yeah, so I like it, to, I like to use a lot of uh, Renee Bouquet's shop uh, chipboard pieces in the natural, uh, how they come. And it's very rare when I use my embossing powder or color them because I really like the color of this one. So yeah, so here I use one of her dragonflies and one of her flowers, the uh, this fabric flower, and it's just beautiful, beautiful, and it all combines together. Here in the top, I use one little piece of the overlays in black. And I was, I was looking for it so I could show you closer how it looks, but it happens that it was the last piece. So it's this one here, and it's so, so beautiful. And I will put the name here so you know how is, what is the name. And it came in white as well. I used the black one just to combine everything. So I had this last piece, so I don't want it to throw away. So I just put it there with a piece of paper and this belt team. And you just, you're just a decoration team. So that's what it did. This is the back. So yeah, so yeah, so um, here is the, oh no, this is another one. This is not the one that I use, but this is another of the black laces from Renee's shop. This is the butterfly lace, and it's so, so beautiful. It also came on white, 
and this is the one that I was showing in the with the lace with the other one. Let me see what is the right one. This one. You see how gorgeous that is, and I just love it, love it, love it. And so what I did, I just cut one piece so I could display it and show you. And I also use one piece for the for the rosette one. So yeah, so I could display more of that lace. So yeah, so that was all the idea for this project. I hope you like it. I had so much fun, you know, uh, doing paper crafting. I always have loved paper crafting and play with laces on it and everything. You know, my style is, I, I love Chavi Chi, but I also like to, any color, I try to play with the laces as well. It's like, I cannot help myself. I have to put all that, all those layers and embellishments and all that stuff. So yeah, so it was very fun to work with different time, different kind of colors because I always go for pinks and pastels and everything. So when I saw uh, the paper in my stash, and it was like, oh my God, I had to do something with this. I had to use it. I had to, you know, I had to play with it and give it a break to the pink. And um, so, yeah, so this is all the I did, you know, the I'm been going crazy with all the envelopes. So I was very inspired to create another one in different shape. Um, so, yeah, so this is what I came with. I know that people had done this uh, for for uh, 3D cards, and uh, so yeah, so I just wanted to play with it as a lot of envelope. So yeah, so thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate your time, and I will let all the links in the description box below. Uh, also with the measurements of this uh, this one, I made this envelope with my Martha Stewart scoreboard because it was easier because of the size of the paper, and I only had the normal, um, this one, envelope punch. So it was very difficult to make it here because all the paper pieces was bigger and all that stuff. So I make it on my Martha Stewart a scoreboard and it was super, super easy. So yeah, so thanks again and I will hope to see you very soon. And uh -huh. enjoy your weekend. Um, happy, happy, happy day. Take care and I'll, also I will let the link to all the social media from Renee Bookers show so you can ch go check it out. The Facebook, the blog, um, she has a Facebook group where she hosts challenges and swaps as well. Just in case you want to participate, you can win in the challenge. You can win a beautiful prize from the Rain Bookers shop. And you don't have to send anything. It's a challenge, so you just have to create something and share the picture of it. And it has like mood challenge as well. So yeah, so it's very, very fun. So yeah, so go check it out and I will see you later on. Take care. Bye.